kind of getting caught up on some things. I've been without internet for a while. I'm living um, quite peacefully and quite happily off grid in the mountains around Chattanooga, Tennessee. Um, so, but last night um, I've got a mobile Wi Fi hotspot addition to my cell phone plan, and I'm able to get on my laptop and actually see a little bit of what's going on in the world. Not that I can't do it with my phone, but it's, I hate doing, I hate trying to read things off the telephone. Um, so anyway, part of the, what I saw just last night, so I'm a little behind, I'm a little behind the times, but, um, two of these, to me, fairly popular channels were talking about, you know, the GMO mosquitoes, but their questions were, so it's like, wait a minute, weren't we, didn't we do this last year? Didn't we already release them in Florida? What's going on? Why are we saying this is just happening now? We done this before, and it's like another question. It's like, well, I remember talking about this like years ago, like so, like a decade ago. We were talking about this almost. Well, in fact, indeed, you were, and in fact, yes, they were set to release 750 million mosquitoes in Florida last year, and I think because of you know citizen pushback and scientific studies. This one is from Yale University. Um, part of the whole, before I start reading this, part of the whole Oxitex trip is we can make these male mosquitoes that can't bite anybody, so don't worry about that, and that's a good thing. But um, basically, they'll mate with a female, and that female basically won't be able to produce any offspring. But in between 3 and 5% of the time, the female, even when mating with the GMO mosquito will produce offspring, but those offspring are too weak and will not last long enough to be able to then again reproduce. Well, what this study from Yale is pointing out and quite clearly kind of did a little watchdog research as Oxitex experiments in Brazil, and they basically came up and they said, well, yes, indeed, they are, even though there's a limited number, they are surviving, and we are finding this in the in the population. And um, right here it says they found that some of the genes from the genetically modified mosquitoes had transferred to the native population. In other words, some of the offspring had survived and were strong enough to reproduce, which is counter to what Oxitec still to this day is pushing out. This, this new population is a hybrid of Brazilian mosquitoes and the genetically modified mosquitoes that were created from strains in Cuba and Mexico, according to the study which was published September 10th in the Journal of Science Reports. And I'll leave that link down to you for you. Um, the claim was that the genes from the released strain would not get into the general population because offspring would die. Senior author Jeffrey Powell, a professor of ecology and evolutionary biology at Yale University, said in a statement. I'll also link, I've got that study that he did too, and I'll, I'll link that to you. Um, however, there is no known health risk to human that might come from these hybrids, he said, but it is the unanticipated outcome that is concerning, Powell added. And like I said, I'm going to stop there pretty much and going down to this. What kind of buggered me, and this is still kind of tied to the study. This was, I'm going to forget, News Atlas. New Atlas had put this out, and they had to make a edit on it. Like, they got slapped on the hand, and they had to come put an edit on it, because how dare we ever talk about a big biotech firm. My goodness. You know, they have scientists, they have researchers, they're giving the data. Why you got to you, shame on you for even thinking you can't trust us. Anyway, so here's one of the things that stood out to me in this study. It says, while populations did drop initially, numbers did bounce back after about 18 months. The researchers suggest that the female mosquitoes may have learned and to be and begun avoiding mating with modified males. It's like what kind of rang in my head is just like you can't lie to nature, and I don't believe nature lies to us. And um, part of it is, and this is where they're talking about worse still, the genetic experiment may have had the opposite effect 
and made mosquitoes even more resilient. The bugs in that area are now made up of three strains mixed together. The original Brazilian locals plus strains from Cuba and Mexico. The two strains cross to make the GM insects. The wider gene pool could make the mozzies even more robust as a whole. And this is based on what is called hybrid vigor. And again, nature wants to produce and will always seek to produce the best of the best of the best. It wants to get better and bigger and how they have it. So there is, even though it has not been proven that they are Frankenskeeters, but based on sound research, it's so possible that that is what's happening. But that's really neither the here nor there because ultimately we're being told by a big biotech company we're going to release these, they're going to do their thing, they're going to die off, and there you go, we just reduce the population. And you will have to do that periodically from time to time because the populations will again build up. But they're painting what they have as a nice, quick, safe, and effective and how we love hearing, you know, when big biotech companies or any big tech companies tell us it's safe and effective and um, just makes us feel all just gushy inside, I guess. But um, so they are now doing this in Florida. And I one of the things I question that I'm listing here, because I question everything, it says basically they're going to release 144,000 of these. If you take the immensity of how many have been released in previous trials, this number is should then have all the effectiveness as a fart has in a windstorm. So I question that number, but you love how they throw that number up that makes us, that rings our revelation bell. Don't you love? They they'd love to ring our revelation bell, but anyway, question everything. Um, but these are not basically they're not releasing the male mosquitoes directly into because they biotech second generation. There's a completely new product, and it just sounds so fun and wonderful. You basically buy this box, put it where you want it, open the lid, and you just add water, and your mosquito problems are all over. And it's a marketing ploy. It's a marketing scheme. And because now they can sell these to cities and townships that have mosquito population problems and say, oh, okay, we can just do this. We can just buy some boxes, and anybody can do it. So, just to bring it bring it to a close, this is um, from April 30th this year, which was not too long after they started releasing the little Frankenskeeters into the population. Um, it says, for the first 12-week phase, blue and white boxes containing about 12,000 GMO eggs developed by a U.S.-owned British-based company called Oxitec have been placed in six small areas of um, Ramrog, Key, Cujo Key, and Vaca Key. If I mispronounce those, I, I apologize. But um, when water is added, the mosquitoes hatch, mature, and enter the environment over the next week or so. Um, a small vocal group of Florida Key residents have fought the release of what they call mutant mosquitoes since the project was announced, and they are incensed. Or that means they are pissed. Our opposition has been long and strong, says Barry Ray, the executive director of the Florida Keys Environmental Coalition. We live here, this is our home, and they're forcing this down people's throats. I love this next lady they um, interviewed. It says, the only thing you can do legally at this point is stand in your yard with an insect fogger, said Mara Daly, a resident of Key Largo, Florida, who has fought the release for eight years years. Again, that's why you keep hearing about this and have heard about this. Um, you can't touch a box, but you can fog the shit out of your own yard if you don't want to be a part of the trial. So, going to leave it at that, going to leave you some links, and um, but yes indeed, in Texas, they'll be coming for you next. So, um, it's, it's, it's so mind-boggling to me that um, 
I don't know what it's going to take to realize for people to realize voting don't do shit and I don't know what does I don't know what does anything you could have the entire town say we don't want this to happen and it's it's going to happen you'll push it you know you'll push it to the back burner for a while but it always seems like it just happens anyway apart from what we want or what we think is best for us and um, I know the year 2020 has made a whole lot more people sick of this so let's keep being sick of it let's keep being vocal whether these mosquitoes are good or bad that's irrelevant the rele the relevance is that it wasn't it wasn't something that was welcomed and now it's something that these residents have to deal with and um, and I think you can damn well bet there's a lot more than a hundred and forty thousand coming at you so keep standing keep fighting we'll talk to y'all soon